Hello there, today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the brand new rail gun for backyard monsters and I'm going to be testing it with the Terracorn first. Start spring and then hopefully it will attack the blind enemies. However, I doubt that it's going to be possible. Nope, the rail gun is not for flying enemies. Only those who roam on the ground, and let's see underground. And that leads us to worms. Start spraying, and we go. And so far, nothing. So it seems that the railgun's weakness is that it's only for on ground, but not underground or in the air. So it's still capable of attacking the champions. And now let's try Dave. Start spring and two, one, go. There goes Dave. And let's see. Oh yeah, please note that the rail guns I'm using are level one. It's like a laser beam that shoots out straight ahead. So far, one fourth of the light is good. Have it. We can see that it is fully capable of attacking with a special linear laser beam. And now let's try. Iros. No wait. Actually, let's try bolts. Actually now. Nah. Forget about that. I'll send in a group of Kravitrons. Yeah. Five should do. And three, two, one, go. Here comes the Kravitron. So so far the range is about this big. Which is not too bad for a level one railgun that is. Pretty decent, especially when the incoming monsters are in groups or bundles. As you can see, it affects anything that is in its path. I say this is a pretty neat addition to backyard monsters. Does what it says, and it's pretty expensive to upgrade. Three mils, four mil, two mils a day. Oh well, it's all worth it. Anyways, that concludes our demonstration of the railgun update from Backyard Monsters, and thank you for watching.